Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at two reissues from the Ultra Heroes series of vinyl dolls for Ultraman. On the left here we have number 10, Ultraman Agadu V2, and on the right we have Ultraman 80. Now I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to pronounce this guy's name. I don't know if it's Agadu or Agle. I think it's romanized as Agle, A-G-L-E, but I'm not sure. In any case, he looks good. I really like his design. I think the silver and the blue color scheme really work especially with this bit of gold here for this vest. It really pops. And I really appreciate that the gold paint actually goes all the way around onto the back. They painted his entire arm. didn't stop down the center. Got the gold here. Even his head, the silver goes around to the back. Really appreciate that. It looks really sharp. He's got standard vinyl doll articulation. Arm goes around like that. Swivel in the waist, so not too much going on there. But he really looks good. I really like this guy a lot. Next up we have 80, and 80 is definitely a product of his time. He's kind of a goofy looking dude, but I love him. He's got stripes down here to make it look like he's wearing tube socks. Unfortunately, he did not get the same treatment as far as paint going around to the back. They did paint his entire fists, which I appreciate, and his boots go all the way around. And he does have this choker around here on the neck. Which looks like someone slapped a shackle around his neck. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It's just a shame when they do this where it just kind of stopped down the middle. I'm assuming this went around. And because you can see the design is kind of detailed into the arm. There's like a seam there. Or like a line detailed in. It would be nice if they could get the, the full paint treatment. But I get it. They have to keep costs down. He's got the same amount of articulation. But yeah, I think they're both great. I mean, the thing about vinyl dolls is because they're relatively inexpensive, they're very affordable and they're very easy to collect a bunch of them, which I really like. So I recommend both of these guys. They're about $5 a piece. I got mine on HLJ. Not sure if they're still available, but you could always check Mandarake, Yahoo Japan auctions, maybe even Amazon Japan would have these still. Not 100% sure on that. But I like them. Oh, I wanted to show off the little cards first. They always come with these cards attached, and it's really just a way for the store to, you know, have a barcode to scan when you buy them. But there's Agadu, and there is 80. So, they're fun little cards. Um, but yeah, so I like these guys. Like I said, very affordable, fun to collect, nicely painted, at least as far as the front goes. But I have to give it to Agadu or Agle. They painted him a lot as far as the arms and the back go, and so he is exceptional in my opinion. He's definitely one of the best vinyl dolls I've seen in a while in terms of paint applications. And I just think overall his design is really cool, and I like his color scheme. 80's fun, it's just that out of the two I think he's a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.